We got to talk about Robin Hood family and the AMC slash AMC preferred equity units. Now, check this out. And again, allegedly, supposedly, hypothetically, nobody's trying to get sued. If you appreciate the information I'm dropping here right now, hit the subscribe, hit the like button. Let's get into it. Now, according to one of my contacts, they were in communication with Robin Hood and Robin Hood said this, you go and check yourself. Again, allegedly, nobody's trying to get sued. It says that at this time, Robin Hood does not support trading of preferred stocks like AMC preferred equity units. Hmm, so you can't trade it. So then what do you do? It says this means that ape will be set to PCO position close only. And what are your options now? What does that really mean? It means that customers can only hold or close their positions family. So if you have one share of AMC and you get one share of ape or equity unit connected to it, then you're on Robin hood. It looks like you're only going to be able to either close it out, AKA sell it or just hold on to it on the account. Why is this important? If you remember back when everyone was getting into AMC, when a lot of retail investors got in, it's because in the past, again, allegedly, supposedly, hypothetically, Robinhood set everything to position closing only as well. And then when AMC was on a run, this totally killed the buying momentum because there's no buying. There's just holding or selling position close only. So now in this case, it seems as if certain platforms are going to be having an extreme amount of sell pressure because the options are limited. You don't have the option to buy. All you have to do is either sell or hold. You have no other options. So in this case, I always tell you, you got to empower yourself so you don't get smoked or caught up in things like this. So what do you use? You can use public.com. I talked to one of my contacts and they let me know that public expects to be able to trade on August 22nd where you could trade your ape shares if you so choose and even buy in not just close you can buy it now and we sponsored by public just to keep real keep raw with you this video is sponsored by public you get up to 73 dollars in free stocks and you use the link pinned to the top comment but i want to show you what my contact said to me right about public in particular and again you want to have multiple even if you don't use my link just make sure you get up on public why because it's important to me that you have the flexibility rather than just using some link you got to have the flexibility you got to have multiple different type of platforms where you say, okay, this platform, this broker is doing this and I can't behave how I want to do or trade how I want to be over here, then I need to have something else. And you want to foresee these things coming out in the future. This is why you have multiple different kind of apps, different kind of platforms, a trading one, a saving one, one that you keep all of your long term, your short terms, right? You need to have multiple of these different accounts. Now, check it out. My contact said this, Ape will be listed on the New York Stock Exchange, NYSE, and tradable starting Monday, August 22nd, right? However, the Ape dividend will be issued to shareholders of record. So you gotta have AMC shares as of August 15th. This is another confirmation that it's the 15th that you gotta have the AMC share just in your account. And at the close of trading on Friday, on August 19th, right? So it says this, please note, while the dividend will be distributed on August 19th, you may not see it displayed in your public.com account until on or after Monday, August 22nd. But again, if you see it on, let's call it your Weeble account, your Robinhood account, allegedly, you will not be able to trade it. You will not be able to buy in more if you want it more. I'm not telling you to buy, hold the sell. I just want to empower you and tell you an avenue if you did want to go and get some more of these apes, uh, units if you did want to say yo no more pay no more payment for order flow man no more of that right then public is the way to go now let's keep it going and let's get on to Adam Aaron if you appreciate the gems that I'm putting on here for you family just know YouTube yesterday I tried to upload an AMC video and then oh everything funny happening people clicking on the video but it's telling them that they can't watch it no stream please tap to retry what's going on with that it only happens when I talk about AMC but again Put a gorilla in the chat so I know you got my back and everybody else know you got they back, baby, if that's who you are. Now, Adam Aaron, the CEO, he came out on Twitter today and said something that you need to hear. He said, and he just addressing the short sellers, the naysayers, right? He said this, some seem to enjoy reporting AMC is off its all-time closing price of basically 62.65. So that was the close price. Remember, it got all the way up even higher than that in the 70s, but it closed out at 62.65. And this was on June 2nd, 2021. 
He said they like to report that it's not that number anymore. However, they failed to report that yesterday it closed at seven times of what it was when the pandemics closed the theaters. And this happened on March 16th, 2020. It was $3.19, right? So he's saying it's seven times that. And then he said this, it's even up 11 times from when they were written off for dead, as in they're going bankrupt, they're done, every movie theaters is shutting down, right? Because people are transferring over to Netflix, people are transferring over to streaming services. They said the movie theaters was done. This is when AMC on January 5th, 2021 was $1.98. He said, tell the whole story, right? Because again, they like to be on the whole thing of, all oh, the stock is not $70 anymore. It's not $50 anymore, it's $20 but it's still seven times higher than one instance and then 11 times higher than another instance. So shout out to Adam Aaron for telling the whole story. Now, the rest of the story for what's going on in the stock market today, and we're gonna tie this back into AMC so you can see what's going on. What's going on is this, inflation moderates in July as CPI rises at less than expected at 8.5%. Inflation was all the way up to 9.1%, meaning things on average, when you average them all up, 9.1% higher than they were last year. But now it's 8.5. So it was going up all year and then it finally curved and started to show that it can come down to 8.5. They expected 8.7 or even 9 and we beat that expectation. So it's lower and we see it going down. This is going to mean that the Federal Reserve can say, okay, what we're doing is having some effect and we don't have to go crazy hard and raise the interest rates on everything up super fast, right? That would cause a really dramatic recession, not just this training wheels one that we're in right now that the government is falsely keeping up, but that's a whole nother story. So what is it doing to the overall market? It's pumping. It's up 1.85% when you look at the Fortune 500 companies, but what is it doing to AMC? It's dumping. Now, why is that? AMC is not necessarily tied to the Fortune 500 companies and how they move. We already know who moves it, and who moves it is the big dogs who are trying to manipulate it, even though the SEC, the Alphabet Boys, the government, they should not be allowed, or they shouldn't allow these things to happen. They shouldn't allow the big hedge funds, market makers to manipulate AMC the way that it is happening. Again, allegedly. Now, AMC is down 2.41%, and why is that? on a day and what could we expect tomorrow check this out when you go over to mumu right what you'll see is when you look at the red 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 you see all of this red like i was telling you this is as of yesterday there were so many bets against amc today right there was just one bet with it when i'm looking at this quick screenshot right here there was one green in the middle this is the one bet with it so we can imagine the next day they were going to try hopefully fail but they would try to push it down and we see that they are succeeding so then when we look at past august 9th let's look at august 10th now and you see that there are two long calls and they're both green meaning that the big dogs are saying okay we're going to take a little short-term bet with amc so you could imagine in the future aka tomorrow we're likely to either stay a little bit flat or go up a little bit unless way more bets come in against it you'll have to make sure that you have an app like this or anything so you can make sure that you're looking and then you see what's going on with it but again let's keep it going check this out we got stanko tracker right here and we're going to look at the volume on AMC, right? The volume on AMC, we see it as at 14 million at open. And then at the very next one on the right, 10 or 7 million. And then 5 million, 4 million. What we see is naturally the volume, meaning how many trades are happening, how many people are buying and selling this quickly, right? In a short time frame, we see it going down naturally. This happens during the day. But what we don't want to see is that 14 million become 5 million, become 4 million, become 3 million, because then that means that the momentum of AMC has died down, right? You see how everyone's talking about AMC now? It's because the volume is really high. It's a really hot topic at this point in time. So what levels am I looking for? What numbers am I looking for? I'm looking at this. I'm looking at $27 is where we need to break for a technical breakout, right? We break and we live above there for a little bit. We could blow past and go into the 30s and even the 40s if we break past that, preferably like 35 on the technicals. Now, what level do we not want to see it break under? 20. We have two confirmation, two confirmation points of it coming down to 20, bouncing off. Coming down to 20 again, bouncing off. We don't want to break 20, but we really don't want to break under about 17 or even 16 because then that would indicate a technical downtrend or a reversal back down. So I'm always going to keep it real with you. Always keep it raw. I love y'all. And if you appreciate the honesty and how I just give it straight up, whether it's good, bad, or ugly, I want you to hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, baby. But if you can't do the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in index funds. Again, I love y'all. Take care.